We've told you about quick strike scams by strangers, such as fraudulent sweepstakes and high persuasion investment frauds, such as some gold coin scams. We've told you about how the MetLife study found that seniors are scammed out of about $2.9 billion a year, and that this is only the tip of the iceberg because only one in 44 cases are ever documented. The MetLife study found that senior fraud victims lost an average of more than $95,000 from fraud committed by strangers. However, the study found that senior fraud victims lost an average of more than $145,000 from fraud committed by family, friends, neighbors, and caregivers or others who work for them. So, here we're going to talk about financial abuse by relatives, friends, neighbors, and people who work for you. Our goal is not to make you cynical and paranoid. We want you to take proactive precautions that will help you prevent financial abuse. We want you to plan for the future while you are at full capacity. We don't want this to happen to you. Anthony Marshall, the son of elderly New York philanthropist Brooke Astor, conspired with lawyer Francis Morrissey to amend Astor's will in his favor and took millions without her consent while she languished in her home. Although this happened to a very wealthy senior, it can happen to anyone. Or this, Elsie Brooks was 72 when she sold her mobile home and moved in with her daughter and granddaughter and let the two take control of her finances. They drained Brooks of jewelry, furniture, and an annuity worth nearly $90,000 and abandoned her at a nursing facility. Relatives, friends, and neighbors can use high persuasion tactics to con you out of money. Your trust in them or inability to say no may help them. They can also use access to your money, accounts, or investments to get more money from you. If your capacities are diminishing, their con may be made easier. Here are some steps to take and some things to think about as you prepare for the future. We offer further details and resources on these steps on our website.